Hi everybody, Mary here, and we're going to talk a little bit about the syllabus and grading information for our online physics class. So let's, first off, let me say this right off the bat. Physics is a challenging subject, and because of the fact that physics is a challenging subject, physics is not a subject that anybody can sort of wing. Um, I really want you to do well, and I want you to succeed. I want you to get the grade you want to get. If you're happy with a B, yay, be happy with a B. If you want an A, I want you to be able to get that A. And in order to do that, the best way to do it is to go through absolutely all of the lessons. Watch all the videos. When there is an example problem, do that example problem with me. Um, I have had students in the past who try and go through the videos and they, they go through the Canvas class and they go, all I'm going to do is just do the assignments and I'm not going to watch the videos. I'm not going to try and do the learning in between the assignments. Trust me, very quickly, you are going to explode like a big fuzzy ball of fuzzy explosion stuff. It's going to be ugly. Um, you really, really need to learn the information, then practice it in the assignments, and then have hands-on experience in the labs so you can succeed in the tests. And that's how the course is designed. If you just try and do the assignments without doing the learning first, you are just going to crash and burn like a, yeah, like I said. So I want you to do well. Please do all of the bits and pieces of it. If there are example problems, write those out because it's a whole different way of thinking. And I want you to make sure that you get it. All right, we're going to talk about the grading process. Um, if you want a copy of the syllabus on the first page of our class towards the bottom, there's going to be a syllabus. The name will change slightly depending upon which semester we're in. But this syllabus is certainly not something you have to print. Um, a lot of things, information that's on a syllabus is used by other universities when you transfer the course. So credits, competencies, things like that are not may not be interesting for you exactly, but when you go to a next university, they really, really need that information. So I'm going to kind of cut to the important stuff. Um, my email, phone number, my office. My office is in the basement of the Business Education Center, room 1H, um, near the bookstore. I've got a great location, so I'm kind of underneath the commons and near the bookstore. So I'm, I'm kind of centrally located, but I'm in the basement. So if you need me, that's where you can stop in and find me. Uh, we talked about in the last video things you need, the, the free uh, downloaded textbook, that lab kit. I mentioned in here you need to purchase it. This semester you're being given that kit. Remember, watch your email for exactly how that's going to be di distributed because that does change semester to semester. Um, you're going to need that lab packet, scientific calculator, notebook, pencils, pens, there are some of those competencies for general info about the class. Um, grading information. Okay, here's the stuff most students really want to know. This is an online class, but it's not self-paced. What that means is there are due dates every single week. You can move, you can work ahead, but if you fall behind, it's going to be marked as late work. Late work, the maximum grade you can get on late work is 50%, and you only have one week to turn in late work. So you can fall behind very, very quickly, and I don't want that to happen to you. So it's not self-paced. You can't wait till halfway through the semester and begin. You'll be doomed, and we don't want that to happen. Um, time commitment and rigor. This is a four-credit college class. Typically, for a college class, they say three hours per credit. So do not be shocked if it takes you, if you're spending 12 hours per week on physics. Yeah, that's kind of expected. If your mathematical and scientific ability is a little weaker, you might be spending more time. This is a rigorous class. If you're going to try and do this class in two, three hours on a Sunday night and do everything, you're not going to do it. Um, it's going to require watching the videos, doing the homework problems, doing the labs, going if we were in a face-to-face -face class face to face we would be together five hours per week not including the time to do the homework do the study guide do the labs outside of class 
So just the learning in the labs, just the videos and the labs would be five hours, not including all of the homework and external things if this was a face-to-face -face class. Keep that in the back of your mind when you go, oh my gosh, I'm putting more time in physics. Yeah, that's the way this works. Um, grading policies. We have multiple kinds of grades. We have study guides, homework problems, labs, concept quizzes, converting one converting quiz, and problems tests. So let's talk about each of these. The study guides, study guides are fill in the blank, little questions that go with every single chapter. And the study guides help you with the ideas of physics, the definitions, the people, the laws. Um, I'll ask you questions about, I'll show you a shape and another shape, and I'll say which one has a higher center of gravity or a lower center of gravity. Just getting some of these things straight in your mind. The homework problems are mathematical. You have a situation. You take all the data, apply a formula, come up with an answer, a mathematical answer. It's going to involve math. Those occupy or practice two different parts of your brain. Then in labs, you are going to have a situation. You're going to manipulate some equipment. You're going to have to use the ideas that you learned from the study guides and from the notes. You're going to have to apply the math that you practiced in the homework put it together in a hands-on situation and do a lab. Then at the end of each topic, there is going to be two kinds of assessment, a concept quiz and a problem test. The concept quiz is going to test those ideas that are on those study guides. The concept quiz, there's going to be one per major unit, and the problem tests are going to study the math. By time you get to the test, if you've done everything I've asked, you should have a great deal of practice on all of those ideas and things that we talked about. So it shouldn't be awful, okay? It shouldn't be awful. I'm not going to say they're going to be easy because everybody's got a different kind of skill level coming in. Um, typically, over time, as the semester goes on, people kind of get their physics brain in gear and it gets a little bit better. The whole course is points, and you're going to earn so many points out of so many points possible. And the entire points sometimes vary depending upon, I don't know, sunspots or whatever. Um, the grading scale, straight 90, 80, 70, 60 for A, B, C, and D. Tests and quizzes are timed. The typical time for most tests and quizzes is 90 minutes. Um, some tests and quizzes, like the concept quiz, the chapter three quiz, those are tests are actually going to be a little bit smaller and you get less time because the tests are a little bit less. Why are they timed? Quite frankly, because you're in an online environment and I want you to do something nutty. I want you to learn the material before you take the test. I've had students who've come to me in the past and they go, Mary, I was taking the test and over on the side, I was Googling how to do the problems. That's not how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to learn the material, then you take the test and to push you towards doing what you should do, that's why the tests are timed. Um, the other thing is I wanna put a little pressure on you so you know stuff. So you're not just flailing all over the place when you take those tests. So before you get into those test situations, you gotta be pretty proficient so you can get done in an appointed amount of time. If you have an accommodation plan to allow you more time, please make sure that I have access to those as soon as possible so that I can tweak your online test times. Um, if you just want more time and say, Mary, hey, can I have more time? The answer is gonna be no, unless you have documentation that you are allowed more time. Um, labs, you're gonna do one of these a week, study guides, homework problems, et cetera, we've talked about. Drop lowest test grade, lowest grades. Nope, I didn't say test, just drop lowest grades. One grade from the lab category and one grade from the homework study guide category is going to be dropped. This is how this works. Everybody has life, everybody has, everybody gets sick, the kids get sick, the car doesn't work, work goes nutty. Life happens to us all. And so to give everybody an even level playing field, what I've done is in the Canvas computer program, I have programmed it so your lowest lab grade will be dropped. 
and your lowest homework grade, which is a combination of study guides and homework problems, will be dropped. So one from each one of those categories gets dropped. So if you have a bad week, you have, you're sick a week, one of each of those gets dropped. If you are, if life gets worse than that, well, then it's going to start affecting your grade. But everybody gets one of each of those dropped. All tests and all quizzes do count. Um, absences don't really matter because it's an online course. Late assignments, you get one week from the due date to turn things in. So if it is due on 11.59 p.m. on Sunday night, you have until the next week, 11.59 p.m. Sunday, to turn it in. And that's 50% maximum, and then it is graded accordingly from there. Tests and quizzes, you do not get an additional week to turn those in. So when they turn off automatically, they turn off automatically, and I will not be reopening those. So just be, please don't ask me, oh, Mary, I forgot my test. Can you reopen that? No. No. Okay, just so we're all on the same page there. Planned absences. If you know ahead of time you are going to be gone, you know, you're going on a hunting trip, there's a wedding coming up, or you just want some time off, can you work ahead? Absolutely. The entire course is open on day one. I've had students complete this class two, three weeks early, often, because they just work a little bit ahead. And they're constantly just like, oh, I can do that early. I can do that early. And they get done. And they like having a little control over their life by working ahead to buy themselves some time off. Um, extenuating circumstances. If serious life occurs, and trust me, it will once in a while, and I hope you have a boring semester. I hope everybody you love is very, very, very healthy and uh, nothing dramatic happens in your life. I really sincerely hope that. But if something really dramatic happens, please communicate with me and we'll talk about some alternate due dates. But we mean serious, serious, okay? Not like your sister's cousin's brother's cat's dog had a hangnail. Okay, we want serious life here. So just be aware that there's options, but we're talking serious life events. Um, there's a sort of regular CBTC guidelines that I'm not going to go into in great detail, but I do want to mention one, and that is the no-show policy. Um, and the no-show policy, basically, you must participate in the class within the first week, meaning you must actually turn in an assignment that first week. Otherwise, you will be academically dismissed from the class. If you don't turn something in the first week, you will be gone and eliminated from the enrollment. It happens. It is a university policy. Um, I think that's the big deal. I think that will get us started as you march through the class, especially getting started. It's always tricky starting every new semester. Please keep in touch if you have questions. Please watch the videos. Please go from page to page in Canvas. There's a lot of help within the course. I tried to build it in there in case you get lost and stuck. And uh, it's going to be a fun semester. Physics is a great subject. And you're going to do, you're going to do, do okay. All right. All right. Keep in touch. And here we go.